guys, I'm Brandon from ThirstSim.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the Recoiled Rollover Med Ball Slam. It's rotational med ball shot put. This is a fantastic exercise to develop a rotational power uh, for your athletes like baseball, softball, tennis, volleyball, swimming. Uh, there's a lot of good things here. It's a combination exercise of the recoiled slam and a shot put. And I really like this for athletes when we don't see them a lot, or maybe only one time a week, they're in season. We will still wanna make sure we're trying to improve that rotational power. So we kind of combine some exercises to get our bang for our buck when not a time that we're in the room, okay? So this exercise isn't require a lot of effort as well from the slam perspective, because we've got to get it up high enough from the slam to be able to catch it in the shot put, which is gonna be up here by our shoulder. So if you have athletes that are also kind of lazy on their slams, if you do this, it's going to kind of be a little more honest because they're not going to want to bend over and pick up the ball, right? So what you're going to do here is you're going to take the ball. We're basically going to go through our recoiled uh, rollover slam first, which is going to be going from here to the outside leg as tall as we can, as hard as we can. After I catch it, the ball is going to pop up around here, and then I'm going to be in my shot put position. Hands are going to be around nine and three, elbows going to be high, and I'm going to come through as hard as I can rotationally and also punching as well in terms of that shot put throw. Okay, so feet are wide, base support, big circle. And then I'm going to try to catch that as quickly as I can. Okay, we'll do one more. Again, big circle all the way around. And that should be showing you how to develop that power. Okay, so again, we kind of talked about the sports that we work with on this exercise. When it comes to programming, three to five sets of three to five reps per side is pretty good. This exercise is very intensive. It's going to demand a lot of repeated power both in the slam and then having to throw. So consumer after power, we don't want our athletes completely exhausted while doing this. We don't want to do 10 you know, plus reps on each side. That would just be ridiculous. We want to make sure we give them good quality reps and effort. So the sets need to be a little bit higher. The reps need to be a little bit lower, especially as we pair this with other exercises in our facility. But this is a good way to get a lot of rotational power out of your athletes. If you have any questions regarding this exercise, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, have a great day.